What is going on everyone? It is Mark here with another video and today I have yet another highly requested video from you guys. This is great. We're getting into a good routine here, aren't we? Okay, so today I'm going to be taking a look at what is on my computer slash MacBook Pro. Okay, so the computer I use kind of on the daily as my editing ring, main computer, all in one killing it machine is the 15 inch late 2017 MacBook Pro with touch bar. There are a few upgrades that I kind of opt into while purchasing this device. The first one being is the processor is the 3.1 gigahertz Intel Core i7. The, the second option that I kind of opted into was a graphics card upgrade. This right now has a Radeon 560 uh, with four gigabytes of memory. And the reason for those upgrades was because I was looking for a new computer anyways. And, and without those upgrades, kind of that that leap, that jump of editing speed and processing and all that fun stuff wouldn't wouldn't be as great. So I figured I would invest in this computer right away and, and opt in for, for a few of the better options. One thing I did not opt in for is the upgrade of the SSD. Right now this is pushing a 256 gigabyte SSD and the reason for that is because all of my videos live on an external hard drive. So the actual storage on the computer is very strictly for the kind of like local thing. So when I'm editing the video, that's, that's stored locally. But as soon as that is exported, and, and kind of ready to go. It goes right away from my computer whoop, to my external hard drives and, and that's where they kind of live permanently off of this device just to keep it as clean and clutter free as, as possible. So let me take you through kind of the apps that I do actually use on the regular on this computer. There's of course apps that kind of live there and just kind of hang out, but, but let me take you through the main few. So where I'm gonna start off with this is obviously the toolbar. So from left to right, the Finder, that is a huge application. I use that all the time. Uh, Launchpad, if you're a Mac user, you know what that is. It basically just shows you all your applications. Um, and my browser of choice right now is Google Chrome. The reason for that is one, I spend a lot of time on Google kind of world, so Gmail, YouTube, Google, I just find that, that working with Chrome, everything kind of works together. I know Safari is also a very good internet browser. I just, I'm used to Chrome, so um, calendar, that is key. Use it. If you, if you have anything to do ever, use calendar. The one that I use is obviously the Apple one because it all communicates with itself, but feel free to go use Google Calendar. All of that kind of stuff will work very well together. It'll help you organize your life. I put everything in my calendar, work, not work. Like literally at one point in college or in university, I had time slots allocated to eating food. That was a little bit on the hardcore side, but I mean, the idea was there. I never really followed it, but I mean, like, it reminded me to eat food, that's cool. iMessage, iTunes, I listen to a lot of music and I'm a subscriber to Apple Music, so where you get that is iTunes. Um, I'm a huge fan of the interface, I like how it works. iCloud, iPhone, it all communicates. It's very, very simple for me to use. And the thing that I use the most, Final Cut Pro. That is the editing software I use to make these videos. It is the best software, in my opinion, the fastest, the most optimized. Um, a lot of people asked me to use Premiere, what I thought about Premiere. I used it for about four minutes, got really confused, switched back to, to Final Cut Pro. A lot of people say, hey man, you can't do as complex things. No, but then again, these, these videos aren't the world's most complex editing things. And then for a bunch of those motion tracking shots, uh, I haven't used them in a while, but something like this is gonna follow my hand. Oh my gosh, did you see that text? Did you see? Yeah, that's crazy, right? Where I get that done is the next application. It is motion. It's kind of the visual effects side of the Final Cut realm and Apple realm. You can do things as simple as that, but then you can also do a lot of, a lot of crazy, crazy things. I know very little about it other than the motion tracking and some basic stuff, but that is a great piece of software. I want to learn more about it. Um, and the last thing you'll notice here on my taskbar, other than downloads in the recycling bin, is Epic Games. For all of you players in Fortnite, welcome. If not, then well, I suck. So I've killed three people and I've played for about four hours. Woo! I am a high level gamer. I am intense. I am so strict and religious about this game. I have training sessions in my calendar. That is not true at all. I am terrible. Ask any of my buddies who play. That kind of handles what is actually going on on, on my taskbar. So that's what I kind of use on the day-to-day -day basis-ish. Um, and then looking at my desktop here, you're gonna notice one folder, this is iPad Pro two years later. That was a previous video that I was working on or kind of working on as we speak when I'm filming this 
this video. Um, but yeah, that, as soon as that's kind of out of the way, it goes onto, onto my external hard drive, then it goes into the recycling bin. Let me take you through uh, Launchpad really quick and go through some of the other apps that I do use. Um, you'll notice this one is not on my taskbar, but I do love this application, Notability. Um, I am no longer a student, that's why it's not always at the ready to be used. Photoshop CC 2018 and Lightroom 2018, those are the ones that you can subscribe to on a monthly basis, which is what I do. I use them to make thumbnails, um, and, and that's pretty much what is on my, my computer. Maybe you guys wanna see a more in-depth kind of video of how I use these applications together, not just what's on my Mac. Make sure to kind of let me know down in the comment section below, hit that like button. But for now, if you like that video, please hit that like, share, and subscribe button down below. And for additional brownie points, please follow me on all my social media. Links can be found down in the description, but for now, thank you, and I will see you on the next one. All right, farewell, be safe. Wear a helmet. Wear a seatbelt when you drive. Don't speed. Don't text and drive. Don't do drugs. Stay in school.